Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Tuesday, September the 8th, and it's 88 degrees. How about that? 888. Eight. The time is 335, and I just wanted to share with you this vision this lady had. I've never heard of her. Someone sent me this in my email, and the channel name is True Joy Journey with Amanda Freitas, F-R-E-I-T-A-S. Never heard of her. A lovely young lady, but she had this vision of black goo being poured out, and, and she saw, I think she said she saw a map. I watched it this morning. And I saved it right here. So when I opened my computer, there it would be. So I believe this is how she put it. Like as if a bucket of black goo, like old oil, um, very thick and viscous. Just starting with Upper Canada, just ran down over America and covered us. And everyone was in darkness, I believe she said. Anyway, uh, or maybe that's the impression or the, um, what do you call it, the interpretation she got after when she prayed for interpretation. Okay, this confirms what I got in the message about the two raptures. It confirms so many people's visions, dreams, words. That we would be in three days of darkness. However it happens. Whatever it is that causes it. It's yet another confirmation. Of the days of darkness. The Lord did not tell me three days. But he told other people three days. And that corresponds with what happened in Moses' day. In the plagues of the exodus. Before the exodus, God let every Egyptian area turn pitch black. They could not see their hand in front of their face. But the Egyptian, but the children of God had light. So I have every reason to believe that those who get left behind after the, the first fruits rapture is going to when they the word says call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved well that I think that goes further into just than just saying like if you're about to die here comes a bomb and you go Jesus save me I believe he will just like the thief on the cross at the last minute showed his faith in Jesus by saying, Lord, will you remember me when you come into your kingdom? That's all he said. He didn't have time to repent. Or well, he might have had time, but he didn't. He didn't say, Lord, I'm a savior. Well, I mean, I'm a sinner. Will you save me? Will you forgive me of my sins? Will you come into my heart? He didn't say all that. He said what he knew to say. So, if all somebody knows to say is, Jesus, save me, I know he'll save them. Now, like Jesse Duplantis was talking about in his visitation to heaven that I put in the video yesterday or the day before and linked part one is if you watch part one and just leave it part two just starts and then three and then four now the part I linked to you was from 2000 and or I'm sorry at yeah, 2019 but the one we watched was from the year 2000 so there might have been some parts in there 
that I said was in there that wasn't in the more modern vision uh, version. So forgive me for that if I did that because it's possible that there are two sets of four out there on YouTube. Okay, back to this. The days of blackness or darkness. I do believe the children of God who get on their knees and repent and cry out to the Lord to please at least help them see to take care of their self and their children to get to the bathroom or whatever. I don't know that this means there will be no, um, well, if there is no power. See, however, whatever happens, whatever causes the blackness, it's going to mean no power. It takes power to pump water and work the sewage system. So this is why you need to have an alternative method such as a human cat box, so to speak. A bucket with some kind of toilet seat on it with a, a lining of some sort for people to, uh, I would say, just poop <laughs> in that one. And maybe some empty gallon jugs or with a funnel for the ladies. I mean, come on, think of something. Figure it out and be ready. Because otherwise, you're, you won't handle it as well. So talk it over with your family and prepare. If, if you haven't been told or you just recently come across learning about all this, you're probably not going in the first. I don't want to tell you that you're not. I don't know your heart. I don't know your soul. I don't know your relationship with Jesus. But I want to tell in case you're one of the children of God who gets left behind. And it won't be for long. It'll be, we'll be back to harvest the wheat and you won't be alone for long and and everybody that's got a problem like a sin problem it may not be huge but it might be enough to get you left behind we'll be able to help you with that we'll be able to help deliver you of demons that are causing things like that or even if it's a spirit of unforgiveness where you cannot forgive somebody, that we c we'll be helping with that. We'll be bringing people back from the dead. We'll be reattaching limbs, saving people, healing them. I mean, Jesus said, greater things than these will you do. You just have to believe it. Have faith. Whatever you do, do it out of faith. All right? Okay. So, vision of black goo covering America and the rapture. Hashtag end times. Hashtag rapture. Hashtag encouragement. Okay, so... I'm going to end it there. I plead the blood of Jesus over us all, our computers, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you again later.